on the day of Easter, the grieving women must have been terribly distressed when they did not find the body of Jesus. Jesus was unjustly tortured and killed, and now his body is nowhere to be found. There must have been a thousand questions in their minds, and no answer was given them. But another question, indeed, a more important question. Why do you look for the living among the dead? Where do we find the risen Lord? The resurrection stories tell us where to find Jesus. The story of the two disciples on the road to Emmaus tells us where we encounter the risen Lord. The two were walking together, just as Jesus told those whom he sent to preach the kingdom. But they were walking away from Jerusalem, from the community of the apostles, because they had lost hope. We were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel, they said. Then Jesus walked with them, explained the scriptures, and broke bread. Listening to the word opened their minds. The breaking of the bread restored their hope. We find Jesus in the scriptures and in the breaking of bread, in the communion within the church. One of the beautiful stories of Easter is the story of Thomas, who demanded evidence that Jesus is truly alive. When he finally met Jesus, the Lord beckoned him to touch his wounds. As he did so, Thomas exclaimed, My Lord and my God. A priest wrote, Our world is full of wounds. It is my conviction that those who close their eyes to the wounds in our world have no right to say, My Lord and my God. The wounds of Christ remain in the wounds of the world. We have members of the Dominican family in Myanmar where there is an ongoing civil war that is largely unnoticed by the world. And we have family as well in Ukraine. They see and touch the wounds of Christ among those who suffer the horrible consequences of war. Our brother Yaroslav the vicar for Ukraine told us, Outside Ukraine, people see news and photos of a terrible war. We see the same horror, not through the internet, but through our doors and windows. But what the newspapers and the internet do not show are the many acts of kindness and solidarity among the people which you see around people helping people people reaching out to people this is the paradox it is when the dark side of our humanity manifests its ugliness that the brightest side of humanity redeemed at the cross by jesus also shines more clearly but we do not only encounter Jesus in the scriptures. 
the breaking of bread, or in his wounds that remain after the resurrection. The disciples encountered him not only in the Last Supper, but also in the first breakfast after the resurrection on a beach. It is interesting that this breakfast is the only meal we read in the Gospel that Jesus has prepared himself. We also wonder if Peter and his companions caught nothing all night. From where did Jesus get the fish he was cooking? But no one asked the question. They were just overjoyed at seeing the risen Lord. We also encounter the risen Lord as the one who feeds us and asks us to feed others as a sign of our love for Him. Do you love me? He asked Peter. Feed my sheep. There is so much hunger today. Hunger for the bread of life. Hunger for the Word of God. Hunger for food. Hunger for compassion and solidarity. For the love of Jesus, we must continue to feed the flock of the risen Lord. A blessed Easter to all of you.